Hello, my little crafty monsters. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous. So, in today's fabulous video, we are going to be making these adorable, adorable little cheesecloth ghosts. And these little cheesecloth ghosts are pretty stiff. You know, there's a lot of videos going out there, you guys, on YouTube. There's a lot of um, do-it-yourself on Pinterest and stuff like that. And I did try a few of them. I did that just for my little crafty monsters because I wanted to go ahead and figure out the do's and the don'ts, right? Okay, my little crafty monsters. So we are now here in the dining room, and this is basically where we are going to do all of this process. Now, I'm really sorry if there's noise, guys, but now we are out of my office, and <laughs> there's a big beast behind me. He's behind me, isn't he? <laughs> so that's our little co-host, Thor. Thor is our, um, he's right here. Thor's our little tiny chihuahua. We call him our tiny chihuahua. He is 178 pounds and he is a Brazilian Mastiff mixed with a Great Dane. And you're gonna see or hear him walk around because my whole entire house is hardwood floor, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna apologize now. Um, but in this tutorial, like we were talking about earlier, we're gonna be making this little bad boy right here. This is really, really easy. I don't know how long this tutorial is gonna be. We're gonna just do this on real time, guys, because I want you guys to get the whole feel of it. I want you guys to get, uh, to know how long it's gonna take, right? Um, so we're not gonna hyperlapse this video or anything like that. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through it step by step. Now, um, there's something I wanna show you. Give me one second. Now, you guys are really, really lucky that we are doing these tutorials because <laughs> funny thing is, is that um, they always say that you learn out of trial and error. And um, this is basically my second attempt. This is my second ghost, which I think he came out freaking amazing. Amazing. And he's really stiff. First ghost, <laughs> first ghost not so nice. He looks more like a Ku Klux Klan guy. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what happened to this guy. I'm just kidding. I do know. So, I did research, right? And I saw a bunch of people doing these little cheesecloths so many different ways. And I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and try out these methods and see which one is the best. Now, this guy used to be round. He used to be round. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He used to be round, but the reason why he now has a cone is because he wouldn't stand up. And I actually had him on one of my vases that's kind of a long cylinder. So that's why we have a cone up there. <laughs> but this wasn't really intended as decoration anymore. This was intended as a blooper <laughs> to show you guys how this happened. So. For the first one, what I saw was a lot of people were using fabric starch, right? And so I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna use fabric starch too. So I went to the dollar store and I bought this um, heavy starch and I soaked this guy in the heavy starch and then I threw him on my little mold, okay? On my little, or we're gonna call him a form. This is my form. This is what we used. We used a two liter Coke bottle we used a wire hanger and we used a balloon I'm gonna explain to you right now in a minute but let me just get back to this so we we soaked this little guy up in the starch and then I put him onto the form and then afterwards I blow dried him and I allowed him to sit for like a whole day and what happened was that this got pretty stiff it's actually pretty stiff but it wasn't for me, it wasn't strong enough to where it was actually holding the ghost up by itself, right? Okay, so 
I said, all right, so there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way. So then I did some more research. I saw some more stuff. People were using, um, they were using all kinds of glues and they were soaking the materials into the glues, which I mean, some of them, they worked, they worked pretty good, right? But, um, I didn't want to go ahead and waste so much money because I wanted to give you guys the whole instructions on how to do it the right way and stuff like that. So I, I did research and I remember that there was a time around Christmas when I was making these cute little um, gift wrapping stuff. And so um, I decided that I didn't want to use any of those like satin, I mean, like, you know, the ribbons that you, the bowls that you buy for Christmas and stuff like that, that to me almost look kind of plasticky, right? So, um, sorry about Thor. So what happens is that, um, that time when I started thinking, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to just wrap all my gifts and some really pretty ribbon and stuff like that. I wanted my ribbons to, to basically, um, to hold its shape. And so in order for it to hold its shape, I had, I had um, dipped all of the uh, ribbon that I was going to use in this. And then afterwards, I went ahead and I formed the bowls and I let them dry and they stiffened to really pretty bowls. Now this dries clear so you weren't able to see any glue or anything, anything like that. So I clicked to my head and I said, what if I soak the cheesecloth in this? And I said, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I soaked the cheesecloth in this and then I formed him. I put them on the form and this time what I said was I'm not going to just do a single application because I want this to be a little bit more durable. So I'm going to put on two cheesecloth. Why do you always do the two hands? Why are you always involved Mr. Uninvited? So anyway, we're going to do two cheesecloths. We're going to do one on the form and then I'm going to throw another one on there um, also soaked and we're going to allow that to dry. Now, <clears throat> this worked so much better, like 110 times better. As you can tell, this little guy is pretty stiff. Now, you can still bend him and break it, but why are you going to do that? <laughs> Just to let you know, he is pretty stiff. Like, this guy holds up to himself and it's freaking amazing. So we stepped it up a notch, okay? And we sprayed this little bad boy with this Krylon um, glows, it glow in the dark. So I did it with white because the cheesecloth is white. So I spray painted it with white and um, in the nighttime when you put it up to the light and then put it in the dark, it glows in the dark really, really nice. But if you don't want to go that route, what you guys could do is you guys could buy these battery operated candles. And I, before I sprayed this um, glow in the dark, I actually had this candle inside here and it illuminated it really, really nice to where you were able to see it um, even in a dark room. So it looked nice just like that as well. Just remember you guys can make this um, this size because this size is pretty big. You can make it this size or you can make it smaller, whatever, whatever you like. Um, now let's talk about the form really quick. The form was really, really easy. The form was just a two liter bottle of soda, okay? And then I got the wire hanger because I wanted the little arms. You don't have to do the arms. It could just be the regular, you know, silhouette of the ghost. But I wanted arms, so if you want arms, you're going to need to get a wire hanger. I wrapped it around and then I taped the wire hanger to the bottle really, really good so it doesn't move. And then after I did that, I blew up a balloon to the size that I wanted and I taped this little bad boy to the bottle. Why did I do this step last is because you can use this form to, as many times as you want. So um, I've already used this one for this one. The only thing that you're going to have to keep replacing is the balloon. Because once this gets hard, what I did was I popped the balloon and allowed it to shrink so that this wouldn't get messed up and it would stay the dome shape. Just allow it to shrink slowly. Don't let it just go 
you know, all at one time because it might pull onto the, the cheesecloth and you might, you know, warp some of the edges. Now, uh, I picked up the balloons at the 99 cent store. Really, really cheap. There's about 12 of them in here. So you could do 12 goes because you know you're going to be popping them every time. This was really, really easy. Like I said, guys, just get the two liter bottle, a wire hanger, tape the little sucker together, and then use a balloon to whatever size you guys want to make the head. I like to make this a little bit bigger so that the head is kind of big and it's kind of domed. And then not only that, guys, but it is easier to pull it off of this form. Okay, so um, that's how I made the form. Next, like I said, you will use some of this Eileen's. You know I love Eileen's, guys. You know, I'm waiting for them to pick me up and, and be a sponsor because <laughs> I use so much of their products in almost all of my, pro of my projects. Not almost, I'm gonna say I use it on all projects. So I picked up some of this Eileen's fabric stiffener and draping liquid. Um, you can purchase this at Joann's. I purchased this one at Joann's and they're for about $7.99, but go ahead and use your coupon and it'll be 40% off. And if you're lucky that week, you might even have a 20% off your entire, entire purchase and it'll be even cheaper than that, right? Okay, then you're gonna need this Krylon Glow in the Dark. It's called Glows. It has a Z at the end, Glows. And it's a Glow in the Dark spray. These come in a few shades. I saw green, white, yellow, and if I'm not mistaken, there was a blue one. But I wanted white because the cheesecloth is white. Um, after I had draped this over the form and I had soaked it in the stiffener, then I lightly sprayed it with starch. This part is optional. I just wanted that extra, extra stiffness. Um, you could leave this part out or you can go ahead and do it if you do. This was at the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. I've seen, seen them at both. You could find uh, fabric starch anywhere. Get a heavy duty one and I did a light, light spray all around and then I allowed that guy to dry. Then you're going to want to go buy some cheesecloth. I purchased this cheesecloth at Walmart and this cheesecloth, if I'm not mistaken, is like $4.99. In the craft in the sewing section is where I purchased this one and it's six yards 36 inches That's a lot of cheesecloth for $4.99. So definitely definitely a good a good um, Purchase you will get quite enough ghost out of here. I've already I'm going to get three ghosts had the first one worked out <laughs> But there's still more for another one um, you will need some scissors. You will need a bowl because this is where we're gonna mix everything. You will need some gloves, any kind of latex gloves to protect your hands because this is really sticky. And once it dries, it's kind of like any kind of glue, right? And then you will also need something to protect your surface with. You could either use a trash bag, cut it open and spread it out. You could use newspaper. I wouldn't recommend newspaper because it's gonna soak up the moisture, but you could use that if that's what you want. Um, or you could use an old cardboard box, kind of like what we're gonna use here today. And, um, and I've been using this box for almost a year in all of my crafts, so recycling is key, right guys? <laughs> so um, let's go ahead and get my box. As you can tell, this has been through war. It has been through spray paints. It has been through, I don't know, numerous amount of liquid pouring over it. Um, let me get this guy out of the way and then we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Give me one second. Okay, so now what we are going to need is we're going to need our bow and we're gonna need our form. Okay, first of all, the first step on our form is we're gonna to have to measure the amount of, um, of cheesecloth that we're going to use to drape over this. Now you gotta take into consideration also that the key factor that holds this little mechanism together is the fact that when you drape the cheesecloth right here in the front part and in the back part, you want the you want you want it to drape down. Oh, stop it! 
So you want it to drape down really straight and stiff like these. This is gonna help build kind of like a little spine for these little suckers so that they're able to stand on their own because you want them to stand on their own, you know? Um, they're basically floating. Uh, another thing too is the bottom part. You want enough in the bottom part so that you can basically kind of build like sort of a, we're going to call it a foundation. So you can build a foundation and that's what this whole entire structure is going to basically be holding on. And that's what pulls this whole thing together, which is freaking amazing. So what I did, and this is how I did it. Okay. Y'all can do it a different way. There we go again, Mr. Southern. I don't know where he keeps coming up. But anyway, so I went over this guy, right, 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 and, whoa, little guy, and I made sure I left about, um, I would say from this fold, all of this, so I'd say this is about, oh my lord, I would have to say it's about three and a half to four inches that I left drooping down and that's going to basically work like the little feet of the ghost which is going to help it so that it's basically standing up okay and then we're going to need some really sharp scissors i always use my tim holtz uh because we want to make sure that this is cut pretty straight okay now remember this part is optional you guys don't have to do this i did this because i learned that it being a little bit more heavier and more structure, it was a lot better. Like it was so much better. Give me more time, you guys. Okay, my little crafty monster. So my whole face is gonna be cut out, but that's okay because I wanted you to look at what I was doing over here instead of really noticing my, <laughs> my face. So basically what I did was I went ahead and I draped this over the little form okay and i wanted this to be sort of you know i i wanted this to be laid out properly like that so um let me try to fix this and see because now i don't know if you'll be able to see the bottom okay so that's basically the bottom part and like i said so this part, all you want it to do really is you want it to drape over so that this looks kind of like little feet because these are going to be what is going to hold this whole thing together. Plus this material, oh my God, this material right here, you want it to be kind of um, draped and you want it to be kind of squished together because that's going to hold it. So we're going to go ahead and cut another another cheesecloth to the same size as that one, okay? And then the rest of this, seriously, is gonna be super, super easy, guys. That's gonna go by pretty, pretty quick. So, now the only thing is just know that when you're doing this project, it's going to take at least um, a few hours to dry and harden. So, it is gonna take some time. So don't be expecting this to be a quick little thing, you know. And I'm just using the other cheesecloth to basically measure. They're not going to be exactly identical, but they're just going to be rough. Now remember that this is a ghost, so he's not going to be perfect. He has to be a little bit, um, you know, a little bit off, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and put this away. So we could go ahead and put it aside. Now we're going to open these little guys up because they are pretty stuck together. And I like to already have them spread out so that it just makes working with them a little bit easier. Uh, okay, there you go. You just have to find the end that's actually the opening part. This also helps to stretch it open so that it already knows that it's gonna have to open up. <laughs> Alrighty then, so we have one that's open. Let's open this guy.
Now this is super, super easy, guys. Um, I want to see you guys, what you guys come up with. Put some little eyes on them, put a cute little bow, like decorate them really cute. I actually thought of putting like little black roses all on the bottom part, kind of like really nice, but then I said, nah, I want it just to be the little ghost. Um, but I know some of you guys are going to step it up a notch. So if you guys do, I would definitely, definitely love, love to see this. Okay, so then at this part, we're going to need our gloves. Okay, put on your little gloves because you don't want to get all full of uh, that stuff. Wow. I guess I don't know how to count because I thought I bought two pairs. But I guess I only bought three gloves because I thought I had three hands. Okay. So then, now this is how I did it, guys. Like, y'all could do it a different way. Y'all, there we go. Again, y'all. So, <clears throat> this, you're supposed to soak it. And it's, this is really, really thick, FYI. So just to let you know, it is pretty thick. So what I did was I put in the first end in here into the little container, and then I added some glue. Did I bring the other one? Oh, shoot. Slipper little sucker. Pay attention, guys. <laughs> you just like wanted to come out quick, didn't you? Okay, so then you go ahead and put the rest of the little cheesecloth in here and then add some more glue. Hopefully it doesn't come out as much as it did because I like to just kind of drizzle this on there. Kind of like if you're putting, okay, well maybe that's a lot of syrup for pancakes. I was gonna say, probably like you're putting syrup on pancakes, but that's a lot. Okay, and then you go ahead and put this in and put Zimar glue. That's what I'm saying, you guys are probably gonna use, well, this bottle, I've already used it on a few other projects and plus this will be the third ghost. Remember the first one? Oh no, wait, hold on. I like this will be the second ghost. The first one was cornstarch. Corn <laughs> you don't even know what you're doing anymore. The first one was uh, fabric starch, so. <laughs> now I'm cooking. Whoa! So I just drizzled this very lightly. It's all coming out in gushes. <laughs> okay, so after I have this, right, 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 we're gonna set this little bad boy aside, but you don't wanna cover it too much because we're gonna to have to do the other one. And then what we do is, um, should I use one hand or two guys? I'm gonna use one. Just work it into the fabric. Make sure that the whole fabric is like kind of damped with this amazing stiffening solution that, okay, we're gonna to have to use both hands. So just work it into the fabric. So I just massage it, pick up more of the glue that's on this thing. It says to kind of like wring it out, but honestly, the way I apply the glue, I don't really think that there is really that much wringing out that needs to be made. Now, if you wanted to, th this solution, you could dilute it. However, we're not, we're not doing that here and we didn't do that to the other one. So I honestly, to tell you the truth guys, I wouldn't recommend it because I think that the strength that we already had was perfect enough. Now we're gonna go in and I wanna add some more of this glue because I want it to really, really be pretty stiff. So like I said, you're just gonna basically work this into the glue, I mean into the fabric. Just work it, work it. Right, right, isn't this great? It's fabulous. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and Spread this open. This part is really hard, guys. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I'm not even gonna candy coat this. This was 
frustrating me a little bit, but it was doable. So how I learned to do this a lot easier is start with the edges. Don't even worry about the middle. The middle will actually open itself. Start with the edges. Start to pull the edges and start to find the way the cheesecloth is. So I know this doesn't look like very much guys, but trust me, she's all rolled up. Okay. Come on, little bad boy. Open up. All right. So. Whoa. Okay. So see, here's our cheesecloth. Like I said, <laughs> it's gonna take a minute, but you will be able to work it open. Okay. This stuff kind of smells. <laughs> like I don't know anyway so then at this point you want to hurry up guys don't take forever you want to grab this little guy okay and you want him to remember you want him to drape down in the bottom don't worry about don't worry about the arms right now we're just worrying about the center this is basically going to be the center now make sure you you're going to turn him around like this the way I have him and you're going to pull these to the bottom because these need to drape down on the floor as like the feet okay so drape him down it's already drying okay and keep pulling and pulling and this will kind of drape you want all this to be kind of Now, like I said, this part is the um, is the middle. We're gonna put on the other one on top of this, so don't worry too much about how this little bad boy is looking. Just as long as you're making this structure to where it's gonna stiffen really good. Okay. He's already getting hard, which is awesome. Okay, so <clears throat> the first little guy, we have him like this. This is all rolled up, so if you guys want, you guys could basically hold this to make it drape more. That texture will help. It will definitely help. Okay. Make sure that you have little legs on the bottom. Remember, we're, we got to build little feet and legs. And when I say feet and legs, what I mean is you're just letting this drape over like this. Now at this point, I'm no longer going to move the, the form. So at this point, if you're going to be still moving him around and stuff, I would actually recommend that you you turn the you turn the cardboard that you're you have it on so now that i have him like this we're just basically going to leave him and not really move him too much so then basically like i said well the back feet the feet of the little see the ghost how the cheesecloth is basically draping and it kind of goes out this way. That's what I mean by building feet. Okay? So you basically want him to be like these. Okay? Okay. So now, let's do the second one. This is the one that's gonna go on top of that one. So I'm going to really try to drape this one as much, I mean, drench this one as much as I possibly can because I want this one to be even harder than that one. So we'll, we'll start with the end. 
Okay. Bring this into the the bowl. And like I said, this one I'm gonna want it to be a little bit more drenched, so I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to this one. Put it everywhere, guys. Just really drench this little guy. He needs to have a lot of glue. He's the one that's gonna hold the whole house together. So make sure you have enough. <clears throat> okay. Close that because he's he dries super quick and for the price that they cost, you know, you don't want to waste it. So now just work it, work it all into the material. Work it into the material, make sure that it's all in there. Okay. Now let's start trying to spread this little bad boy open. And the long ways is now going to be on the arms. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm telling you guys, this guy, this part is like the hardest. It's to stretch this guy open and, um, and trying to find the corners. but it is possible, so. It is possible and it is worth it, okay? So right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on this side. So I'll drape him over the little hands, like so. But leaving some sort of an opening. I'm pulling this down and I want this cheesecloth to basically attach to the one in the bottom so I push it together now the one in the bottom probably is already kind of dried but this will stick on to it okay then we're gonna go ahead and turn this little guy and work this side Pulling the gauze, pull it. I keep wanting to call it gauze because to me, it looks like gauze. Form him. These are the legs, the legs and the feet. Basically what's gonna hold this little bad boy together and it's gonna hold it up. So you want that to be very important to this process, to where you want those feet and those little legs to be on the floor. Whoa. So this is another reason why you want to make sure that that two liter bottle of soda that you guys have is filled with some sort of liquid, rocks, dirt, whatever you guys want to fill it up with because you want it to kind of weigh down. Because if not, when you're tugging onto this cheesecloth and you're trying to stretch it open, um, you do have a tendency of pulling that. So 
Now this side of the ghost has a lot more of the cheesecloth than this side, but um, I think it still looks pretty neat. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is basically what he looks like right now. And then all we're gonna do now is we're just going to allow this little bad boy to dry, okay? Which he's already drying, pretty much. Um, so we'll allow him to dry up and then we will come back and spray him with the glow in the dark. And then we'll continue to Okay, my little crafty monster. So that's exactly how we made this little bad boy. I really enjoyed making this. This little guy is so easy to make as you guys already saw. You guys don't need a lot of um, stuff to make this little bad boy. And if we do it right, correctly, you guys, this will last you year after year after year. So you don't have to be making them. You guys could also make some and give them out as gifts. You guys could put this cute little bow right here. You guys could wrap it with lights. You guys could throw like little Dia de los Muertos colored flowers all around the bottom. You guys could do so much with this. You guys could turn this into a centerpiece for like a table or something like that. You could put those little fairy little lights in the inside, you know, spiral them all the way around inside and then light that up. Um, the possibilities are endless, seriously guys. I wanna see what you guys come up with. You guys show me these ghosts. I hope you guys make some. Uh, post them on our Facebook on Paper to Masterpiece and show us what you guys made. Um, now what we're gonna do with this little ghost once he's dry and once he's set, we're gonna go ahead and take him out into the garage. I'm not gonna go ahead and film this because I'm pretty sure you guys all know how to spray paint something. But we're gonna take him out to the garage and we're gonna go ahead and do a very light, but yet, like, do it. How do I explain it? You guys you guys have to kind of do it very, very carefully in, in like complete rows so that you know that you covered it because, and I'm gonna tell you why, he's white, this paint is white. When I spray this, it's almost like I'm spraying clear. And I, um, I can't tell where I'm actually spraying. So I'm doing really light, even coats, letting that dry, and then once that dries, then I go ahead and do another even light coat, let that dry, another even light coat all around, let that dry. And you wanna do it in steps like that because this is a water-based glue that we use to stiffen this fabric. So any kind of liquid that you put onto this might compromise the strength of the glue and might mess with this and we don't want that to happen. So um, in order for that not to happen, that's why we're doing the steps like that. We're spraying it lightly but evenly we're letting that set and then spraying it again. Doing these little steps will make sure that your ghost doesn't lose its form, okay? So um, we didn't take all this time to make this little ghost to just at the end of the, the process to ruin him. Now, I haven't ruined it yet, but I'm not even gonna try to, so that's why I'm taking those precautions. I'd rather be safe than sorry. That's what my mama always said. So uh, I'm gonna take her advice because she was one smart woman. So uh, like I said in this video, you need some cheese cloth you need the uh, fabric stiffener by Eileen's this is $7.99 at your Joann's and you can use a coupon so it'll be a lot cheaper and if you're lucky that week you'll probably get a 20% off total purchase and it'll be even cheaper than that I also purchased this at um, where did I purchase this? I purchased this at Hobby Lobby's and this was $7.99 as well but if you use your coupon then um, that's awesome. But if you go this week, if you literally go this week, what date are we on, guys? I'm gonna tell you right now, October 15th. If you go this week, you guys, all the Krylon sprays at Hobby Lobbies are 30% off, so you don't need a coupon. You can buy as many as you want, and it's gonna be 30% off the price. Um, also, cheesecloth, like I said, some scissors, a bowl, and something to protect your surface and you'll also need the form the form I'm actually I already explained to you guys how to make it in the video so without 
wasting any more of your time, my little precious um, crafty monsters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well as that notification bell icon so that you guys will get notified every time I upload a fabulous video. Don't forget to share the video and tell a friend. And until next time, my little crafty monsters, goodbye.